Hi everyone, so a bit of official transfer news to bring to you about Freddie Woodman. Uh, he's joined Swansea on loan for the rest of the season. Great news for him personally because he wants to be playing first team football. We all know that Freddie Woodman is an absolute talent at the youth development. He obviously has won the England World Cup as well with the, with the youngsters as well. Big, big prospects of him. We've been seeing it for quite a while now, two or three years, that this lad needs to play games. He needs to develop. He needs to push on and try and claim that number one spot in Newcastle, which is a little bit difficult at the moment. I think his progression has probably stalled a little bit in the last 12 months because the club refused to let him go, on, go out on loan. Allegedly, I must stress, if he didn't sign a contract extension. So he's been hanging around. He's not involved with the under-23s anymore. He's been hanging around with the first team with the likes of Darlow, Elliott and Dubravka. He's been on the bench uh, numerous of times last season because of the injuries to the other two, being Dubravka's understudy. And it, it is a stage of his career now where he needs to be playing and I've always said that personally, I think that Darlon Elliott should leave the club. Woodman should be made number two and then Harker is three. That's where I would have personally liked to see it. But obviously I don't uh, make the decisions at the club. Freddie Woodman has signed and that's probably the only reason why the club have let him go out on loan. It's that Freddie Woodman has signed an extra one year contract extension. So instead of his contract extending and being on a freebie next year, he's tied down for another year on top of that because he's went out on loan, which I think it secures Newcastle a little bit because if, if we do sell Woodman, at least we'll get something. We'll get some sort of fee maybe next year. Or if he goes on and pushes to be that number two, because we all know that Martin Dubravka, there is a couple of rumours going around about him. He's staying at the club. Steve Bruce has already said he's playing in the friendly at St. James Park on Saturday so if he does stick around Freddie Woodman then you might get a longer contract extension but you'll go to a team which is Swansea it's a higher level because he's played in League One a couple of times he's been in the Scottish Premier League the championship for me is an upgrade on all of them and it's in a team a fairly big team in the championship they've won the League Cup not so long ago a few years back and they've been in the Premier League which is Swansea City I think it's a good move from me you'll compete to try and be the number one goalkeeper my only concern is if he kind of dislodge and be number one, that's an issue because he's back to where he started. But there's a big factor and the reason why Freddie Woodman's went down to Swansea. He knows a couple of the lads who've helped him in England in the 21s and, and former setups as well, Steve Cooper and also Margotson as well. He knows them personally, helped him develop as a youngster. They've worked with Jordan Pickford as well. So he said that on Swansea's website, which you can check out on the official website, that he's happy. Uh, a key decision was him to move. But like I say, it's, a, it's, a, it's good for him that he'll get games. Um, but it looks like that Steve Bruce, what does it mean for the rest of the squad, is that Steve Bruce will have Dubrovka, Darlow and Elliot as the three goalkeepers. Now that Woodman's been shifted out on loan, I personally can't say any of them leaving. I know that Elliot was transfer listed under Rafa Benitez, but I can't say any of those three leaving. I think Elliot will probably run down his contract until next year, and I think those will be your three goalkeepers going into this season. But that's a bit of official news. Uh, yes, there's a lot of rumours flying around about Alan St. Maximum and get, fr get French football reports and that Newcastle are down there, but we'll bring you official news. We won't bring any, any rumours. If you want to keep an eye on those rumours, of course, you can follow with Twitter, which is updated every day, and, of course, the lads on Facebook as well are updating that page. And, of course, we've got the website as well, which we uh, put out articles as well but that's been the latest with the news official news freddie woodman keep an eye on a channel update as well there's a few other couple of changes that are happening which will will involve around match day as well so hopefully you'll, you'll, uh, you'll enjoy those plans when they come out right <laughs> have a good night tell everyone bye bye <laughs>